Okay, Jennifer, so here we are with Noah, a big budget biblical epic, uh, directed by Darren Aronofsky and starring Russell Crowe in the title role. But I wondered, when you first received the script, what were your impressions of this somewhat intimidating project? I thought it was um, bold, creative, and deeply intriguing. Uh, I was very, uh, I was really excited to be part of it. I was very flattered that Darren asked me to come, come aboard, as it were. <laughs> and uh, you, of course, play Noah's wife, Noah's wife, Nar May, a character who, in the primary source material, isn't even named, is she? Mm -hmm. um, so I wondered, with so little to work from, how do you set about researching, preparing to play a character uh, who plays such a pivotal role in the story? Well, Darren and his writing partner, Ari Handel, had done, um, you know, the bulk of the heavy lifting and having written the character. And I think that they wrote her as um, a very committed wife, a very devoted mother, um, also as a very strong woman, um, very good and virtuous woman. I started the way I usually start on films, just by gathering information and reading and doing research. Um, in this case, um, you know, the, the Bible, certainly. I spent time reading um, Genesis and also other parts of the Bible, just looking for inspiration. Um, but other other sources as well. Okay, and, and as you say, she's kind of strong-willed, very industrious woman. Um, I liked it when she used the special herb to make the uh, animals fall asleep when uh -huh. we were on the ark. Uh, what qualities do you think she brings as a matriarch to the family, and also ultimately as a matriarch to the new world when they settle? Yeah, I think that she is... Um, she's mostly motivated by love. I mean, she has great kindness and patience and endurance and uh, empathy, I think. I think she has an ability to see things from different perspectives, but ultimately I think it's her love, which is quite fierce, that defines her. Definitely. And, and this is the second time that you've worked alongside Russell Crowe after A Beautiful Mind, I think I'm right in saying. Yes. Um, to what extent did this famili familiarity help the pair of you, and have you got a shorthand now, do you feel? Uh, well, it was pretty great the first time. Uh, it was equally as wonderful the second time. I think, yeah, it must, you know, it's nice coming in and, and having that friendship with someone and also having that sense of trust and an understanding of how we each work uh, and, and ease. Uh, and we started with Russell. My experience with Russell is that you know, just right off the bat in rehearsals, it's really an exploration of the material. And we were able to just dive right in from day one. And of course, it's also the second time you've worked with director uh, Darren Aronofsky mm -hmm. after his breakout feature, Requiem for a Dream, which was 14 years ago. Um, budgets aside, what's different about working with Darren this time? And what qualities has he still retained as a filmmaker since that first time around? The big... It's so hard to say what's different because, you know, it's hard to say budgets aside because that really, it's such a different endeavor than the film that we had done together before. Um, out of necessity, it's an, it's an entirely different kind of movie set, you know? So it's very hard to separate that. What I recognize is that, was is sort of what I recognize in all of his movies, which is he's really a visionary, you know? He's he's audacious as a filmmaker. He's bold, he's innovative, he's very creative and very strong. He makes very strong choices, stylistic choices, um, and choices in terms of content. But he, his films always have a very strong, dramatic core, so he balances that, that out. You know, he's not only focused on the visuals, it's very focused on emotional integrity and working with his actors. And you mentioned the set there, uh, the epic scale of Noah as a story kind of demands an epic production. I think you got that from Darren and his team when they built a full scale arc, or the front of it at least. Mm -hmm. What was that set like to work on, work on and what were your first impressions when you walked on it? It was amazing, the exterior was amazing. The scale of it, just that ramp that I had, that I, you know, one scene I run up the ramp and, and it's, I mean, it's, uh, it, was, it was really breathtaking. Uh, I loved the scaffolding that they had erected around the side of it, which was built out of bamboo. Uh, it was like a sculpture. Um, but also we had an, an interior arc, which was equally as impressive and majestic, um, not only in its scale, but in its attention to detail. 
um, was filled with models of animals which were so painstakingly and beautifully built. Um, and finally, Jennifer, Noah is an intricate story that addresses many themes and, and relevant modern day issues. Um, when people walk out of the cinema from seeing this film, what do you hope cinema goes will take away with them? I think different people will take away different things depending on their interests and their backgrounds. You know, I think that um, people who are coming to it from a religious point of view, I think will see a very lavish production um, that reflects the values and ideas that they expect to see. Um, and I think people who are not coming to it from a religious background will see a massive blockbuster movie that's also quite complex and dark and emotional um, and that seems to touch on themes that parallel our modern contemporary lives. Jennifer Connolly, pleasure to speak with you. Thanks. Thank Thanks you very for much. coming. Good luck.